Hi, welcome to Scummy Derek and Carissa. I'm Derek. And I'm Carissa. And today we're here with Kara and the otters at the Mego Gardens. Hi, I'm Kara. I'm one of the lead keepers and I take care of the otters. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, their behaviors and hopefully educate some of the viewers. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, what do they like to eat? Well, in the wild, naturally they'll eat fish, amphibians, snakes, whatever they can get their hands on, they're going to eat it. But here at Flamingo Gardens, we feed them fish along with chicken. They are purely carnivores, so uh, the chicken is extra protein for them. Okay, let me get it. Okay, here they are. Here you guys are adorable. Bella, come here. Come here, Bella. Bella, Bella. There she is. Bella up. Bella wave. Say hi. So cute. Oh my god. Say hi. One more time, Bella. <laughs> so cute. One more time, Bella. Wave for them. Say hi. She's like, are you going to give me food or not? Hey, little mama. Hey, so cute. How old are they? We actually have a few ages. Our oldest one is 10 years old, and our youngest just turned two this year. So we have a range of ages, three girls and three boys. Are they all family? Uh, they're a family in the sense that they all live together, but they're not related. A lot. We have a couple that are, but they are pups that are pulled out of the wild because we are a sanctuary and want to make sure we save whoever we can. Um, what about their fur? Their fur is actually very thick, so when they go swimming, they don't penetrate the second layer of fur. They have about a million hairs per square inch. So they may look wet, but on the inside they're nice and dry. That lets them swim as much as they want. They can live all the way up in Alaska, so they stay nice and warm with that fur. And they're pretty soft to pet. Not that I would advise it though. Uh, are they friendly? These guys are a little bit friendly because they're in captivity, but in the wild, otters are not very friendly. They can actually take down a three-foot alligator all by themselves. They are top predators, and those teeth are definitely made for doing some damage. So if I saw an otter in the wild, I would definitely go the other way. Is their tail heavy? Uh, it's not too heavy, but it does help them swim. They are purely muscle, so that whole body moves just like a snake through the water. And a lot of their arms, and as long as their tail and their hips, keep them moving upstream through rivers. So all our otters were thankfully rescued. People um, found them in the wild. Maybe their mothers were either hit by cars or they were accidentally killed by poachers. So our babies would be raised and that's why they live with us today. You can find otters anywhere in Florida. So that's in the Everglades and freshwater springs all the way up to Alaska. Anywhere there's fresh water, you're gonna find a North American river otter. They're different from your other coasts, which are your sea otters, which are more of an ocean animal. What's the difference between the uh, sea otters and freshwater otters? Um, there's a lot of different things evolutionarily. They're more of an aquatic species. They're the number one aquatic otters out of all of them. They're also considered mastilidae, so they're related to your ferrets and your meerkats and a lot of the animals that are like diggers and um, swimmers. They have um, webbed feet that way so when they swim they can move very fast. Do they get sick? It's possible otters can get rabies just like any other mammal and they can keep it in their body for up to seven years unnoticed. So if you see an otter in the wild, it's definitely safe to stay away. They can also get things like distemper, but thankfully all our otters are vaccinated by our vet and they're checked out on a monthly basis. Wild otters are actually pretty solitary, so a group this size is very unusual. Most of the time you'll see maybe a mom and a baby or two sisters together raising a baby, but to have six otters in one place, it's pretty unusual. We have three girls and three boys. We do breed otters. We're the number one otter breeders in America. We either release them in the wild or send them to credible facilities where they can live a happy life. How many babies can they have at once? So they can have between one and five babies. Um, our otters mostly stick between two and three. And those babies leave their mom at about two years old, but about 60 to 90 days is when they start opening their eyes, they start getting weaned, and they start learning how to swim. 
Believe it or not, otters are born not knowing how to swim. They actually float very, very because of the fat in the mom's milk. So mom has to teach the baby otter by literally dragging her down into the water or him, and that's how they end up learning. They're actually very afraid of the water when they're born. They're born about the size of a hamster, so about the size of your hand, and in about two weeks, they end up growing to about the size of a guinea pig. And that's when they'll start opening their eyes. It takes about a week before they get clarity in that, those, their eyes, and then another week before their ear canals open. Do they have babies in here? We actually do have a baby right now. We had one baby born this year. It's a little girl. She just turned two months a, a couple days ago. And uh, you guys will get to see her on uh, in a second. What we got here? This is our newest baby, Gigi. She was born December 11th. And right now she's learning how to swim and she just started eating solid food on her own. So she's a little feisty and she likes to play, so that's why she's so mobile right now. As you can see, this is the size of about a two-month-old baby otter. Her eyes are clearly open and she can hear everything. And she's also, as you can see, very playful right now. So she's looking for some toys to play with. <laughs> This is our mom otter, Tater. This is her first baby that you just met, little Gigi, and she's been a very good mom. as long as they don't get hit by cars or get any diseases, but in captivity they can live up to 25, but 20 is a really healthy age for an otter. I know they're cute and everything, and some people really want them as pets, but can you say anything for that? <laughs> I definitely would say never get an otter as a pet. A lot of the otters you see are most likely illegal pet trade, and they're abused in those situations, especially North American river otters. They're very vicious animals. And now a lot of the otters you see in videos are Asian small paws, which also can be very um, dangerous if you're around them for uh, to, by the time they hit puberty. So I would definitely not recommend these products, even though they are very horrible. Keep a, a good distance and then you can enjoy them from afar. One fun fact I really like about otters is on land they're called a romp and in the water they're called a raft. And a raft could be up to six otters in a group, but in the wild, like I said, they're mostly solitary animals. Thank you for joining us at Discovery Deck and Krista. And thank you, Kara, for joining us on Discovery the Otters. Thank you for having me on your show today. Oh my god. She's right. just like, I killed her. Good job, Kara. Oh, what do you mean they're not cooperating? Look at this, guys. They're cooperating totally. Oh, because she has food. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at Bella's show, and she's like, where? Bella. It's not Bella, but it's oh. fine. <laughs> Bella's in the water. Chris, are you going to have to take pictures? Gosh, Chris, I took some pictures. No, I just want to cuddle all the little bits. Yeah, I know, Bella. So cute. You can wait, too. You just keep doing it. it. You like your popsicle? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, look. Do they have babies in there? We actually do have a baby right now. We had one baby born this year. It's a little girl. She just turned two months a couple days ago. And uh, you guys will get to see her on the uh, second. Welcome to Spanish. Okay, wait, let's... 